and knew what to do and what, how to prepare for the day. So. Yeah, last week we practiced late at night and then early in the morning, so we were ready for this quick turnaround. We got as much sleep as we needed and we were come out. We came out ready to play. So Jessica, you played really well offensively, probably your best game of the tournament. How were you feeling this morning? You were re really able to expose their defense. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, they just had uh, holes that we saw and we uh, scouted them really well and we knew what, what our game plan was and we had, um, had really good focus coming in and we were really excited to beat them. You know, Jenny, aside for Jessica, all your other hitters played well too. What were you trying to do uh, offensively running the show? I'm um, just trying to spread the offense, uh, trying to keep the middles on the threes and clearing up space so I could set Jessica on the wave and she crushed it every time. <laughs> all right, looking forward to tonight. You guys got Park in the quarterfinals. You guys are used to this stage. You know, what are what are your thoughts as seniors coming into to your last quarterfinal match? Well, um, right now we just want to get some sleep and some food. Uh, that's <laughs> first on our minds. And uh, <laughs> hopefully after that, just uh, get to know the other team really well and be ready for our next match. Yeah, putting it all on the court. Like every time I go back and serve, I'm like, this could be my last serve. Never know. Like just putting it all out there. Yeah. All right, ladies. Well, great performance this morning. Congratulations. And we're looking forward to tonight. All righty, folks. John O'Neill with you here in Sioux City, Iowa at the Tyson Event Center. Following all the Eagles matchups here, Coach Trevor Johnson joining me. Trevor, you guys had a huge win right here today. Not used to playing Friday mornings. Walk us through that quick turnaround. You have 13 hours to, once you end the last game versus the College of Idaho to move into here playing this game versus the Blue Raiders today. Walk us through some of the preparation that you had. Yeah, credit to our girls. You know, uh, part of their resiliency, you know, our backs are against the wall right now, and, and they're playing like it's our last match. And so for them, we got some rest last night. We watched some film this morning. Um, so they're, they're fired up and ready to go. And I'm excited to see what we're going to do in this tournament. So we have a quick turnaround for us in this park. And we'll have to see what happens. Also, today, a huge matchup there. Your hitters seem to be amazing throughout the whole game. The front row showed up on the blocks with Lindsey Wilson here. Walk us through peaking at the right time. It just seems like this might have been, in your opinion, you think the best matchup that you guys have had and played the best in the tournament? Yeah, I think this is our best game for sure. When I mean, our blocking was on point, our defense was on point, our setters did a nice job with the young hitters available. You know, Jessica Israel, 18 kills. You know, she loved she loved Nationals, you know, and, and um, Hannah's been crushed me too, so credit to our hitters and nice job with our setters. Last question here as you wrap up, you only have a few hours to go back in preparation for part this evening. What steps do you take place with your staff and with your girls preparing for part this evening? Yeah, well, um, you know, we're going to get prepared for part. We have some video on them, so we're going to scout them for like we you know what we're going to do. And, you know, the best team's going to win and whoever wants to win. So we're, we're excited about it. That's a good one. Folks, we'll be back here at 8 p.m. our time, 6 p.m. our time. Make sure to check out CYEagles.com for all the latest and greatest. My name's John O'Neill signing off for the Tyson Event Center.